Violet Cap, the best news ever. What? First, you were the best softcore pornographer in the game. Thank you. And second, Tyler wants to meet. <laughs> Wait, really? Where? The lake. When? After the carnival on Saturday. Like, at night? Of course. That's weird. Why? You watch too much Dateline. Relax, it's fine. He's our age. I, I don't know, Jules. Why don't you just meet him at the carnival, like in public? But we can't. He's a jock and his mom's super conservative. It's like a tough situation. I don't care about the circumstances. It's not safe. I'm not letting you. Trust me, I've been in situations that are way less safe. It doesn't matter. It's dangerous. This is the difference between you and me. I don't always get the privilege of meeting people in the front of a fucking audience. Uh, okay, but that doesn't mean you should meet someone at a deserted lake in the middle of the night. That that just seems fucking insane. Like Out of all the people in the world, I wanted to tell you because I thought you'd be happy. <laughs> Jameson. What? You owe me 120 bucks. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. To tell you the truth, the whole drug thing makes me uneasy. Oh, come on. Don't go soft me, Vesco. No, I mean it, Jameson. I like you. I missed you. And that shit at the beginning of the summer, it really scared me. Yeah. You and everyone else. I'm not being flipped, Jameson. I've been in a drug game for six years, and I've seen a bunch of people die, but none like you. I don't know what the fuck you got going on inside of you, and I don't know how to fix it. But trust me, this shit ain't the answer. I remember when I was 11 years old. A month or two after my dad got diagnosed. And we got the results back from the prognosis. It was really good, like 80, 20 good. And so we decided to celebrate, you know, just have a little celebration. Ordered a ton of Chinese food. That night, I remember laying in bed right between my parents. And we were watching Seinfeld reruns. And suddenly, I, I couldn't breathe. I was gasping and, and, and panicking. So they thought, well, first they called the ambulance and they thought, Maybe I had an allergic reaction or something. When I got to the hospital, they gave me liquid Valium to calm me down. And I remember I thought to myself, this is it. This is what I've been searching for, for as long as I can remember. <sighs> because suddenly I felt the whole world just go quiet, quiet. And I felt safe. In my own mind. Two years later, he was gone. The panic attacks stayed, of course. But I found a way to live. And will it eventually kill me? Yeah. Probably. So. 
you're still gonna be my dealer, Fesco? Or, like what? You're a fucking trip, Jameson. No, way too high for this conversation. <laughs> Me too. Me too.